Good enough. What is going on guys? Today, I'm doing an unboxing. I tried to do this video once before, but it was complete um, poopy. So, that's why you're watching this one. Because this one's a lot better because I'm actually in the mood to do this. I'm rested, I've got coffee in me. I mean, I'm, I'm ready to go. We're gonna be unboxing this mystery taco box that I got the other day. I already went through it because I unboxed it once and the video was just garbage. So, let's just open her up. I'll show you what I got. So first things first, I got some 5 watt Mustad worm hooks. These hooks are not necessarily like my favorite thing to use, but I, I like extra wide gaps more than I like worm hooks. Just personal preference, I guess, but these are perfect for what I use, so. I like them. I will definitely be using those. Next thing that we got is a Lucky Craft Slim Shad D9. That's a whole bunch of fancy mumbo jumbo. That means this is a crankbait. How about that? This crankbait reminds me a lot of a flicker shad, which is something that I fished with last spring quite a bit. I was catching some walleyes, bass, crappie, wipers, all, all types of fish that were in the lake on a flicker shad. So I'm guessing I could probably do the same exact exact thing with this crankbait so definitely a plus to have in my arsenal that was yesterday's coffee oh, okay I hope that was from yesterday sometimes like my coffee cups just kind of sit on my desk and they accumulate and I have like six of them on here it gets pretty wild all right, whatever. Next thing we've got is a Lunker Hunt uh, jerk bait. I don't know what this one's called. Let me see if I can find the, um... what did I do with the thing? Well, I'm a genius. Anyways, this is a jerk bait. It looks kind of like a log perch. So, jerk bait, definitely great idea to have in your tackle box this time of year. Cold weather, suspending jerk baits. It's kind of a no brainer. Everybody's heard it. You fish them, you'll catch fish, you know. That's all I gotta say about that. The plastics I got in this box, 100% man, I dig them. Because I got a Swimming Craw by Big Bite Baits and it was a pumpkin seed, watermelon pumpkin seed color. That's like perfect, that's exactly what I use. I either use watermelon pumpkin seed or pumpkin seed or, you know, just kind of like that dark, green color or black and blue I never really go much away from that stuff so perfect and they're crawfish and I fish a lot of jigs so you know it's perfect and I could probably use these to flip you get six of them in that package right there and then this is like a little stick worm Senko type bait I mean it's the same thing as a Senko your little yum dingers, your senkos, whatever. They're stick baits, sticko worm or whatever Bass Pro calls their baits. But this is from Bruiser Baits. Looks like it's kind of like in a June bug color with green flakes. Perfect, once again, because I love fishing senkos and this is the perfect color for what I fish around here because all the lakes around where I live, they're pretty murky, muddy, gross lakes but there's a couple that are pretty clear so you know it's nice to have dark colors to fish those dark lakes but then it's also nice to have some little more natural colors for the when I'm fishing those other lakes so you know shad colored crankbait it'll be good and then we got a couple stickers this one looks like a, it, it's a large mouth wearing a fishing hat driving a flame wrapped bass boat with a jet engine on the back I think it's hilarious and then of course we got the Dibbles Digest you know I'm gonna just rant here for a second I mean not really rant just kind of do story time with the old fart because you know I just recently got back into getting these mystery tackle boxes because I don't know I remembered them and I'm like hey that 15 bucks a month why not but a lot's changed. There's a lot that's changed with Mr. Tackle Box over time. Like, they used to put these little stringy things of paper in the bottom. That, you know, they don't do that anymore. And then they didn't have these. And they used to only have 
the mystery tackle box stickers. I don't know if I got any more laying around. I got a whole bunch of them when I won the MTB Slam, which that was really cool. But they used to do the mystery tackle box stickers. I got one on my laptop. And I don't know. Just a lot of stuff changed, and I like it. It's still you get your baits, but you know I wouldn't mind having another. MTB sticker, you know the green ones? I love those things. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. I'm gonna be doing some fishing here pretty soon. It's kind of a difficult time for me because like fish aren't like crazy active yet and I'm not able to like go out in a boat and find them on points and creek channels and all that fun stuff. I can't do that, I, I really can't. So, you know, I'm sticking to fishing little small ponds. Here in a few more weeks, we'll be able to go out on the water and have a heck of a time but right now it's just kind of slow going I'm gonna do some more duck hunting related stuff because people have been begging me to do a video on my calls and like different different stuff like that so I'm gonna be doing some videos on stuff like my calls and my shotgun and just kind of answering a lot of the frequently asked questions that I got throughout the duck season because I was so busy with duck season and everything I never got to answering questions. Follow me on my Snapchat which is KS Fisherman. I also have an Instagram which is Kansas underscore Fisherman and my Twitter is KS underscore Fisherman. I wish it was all like the same thing but you know people already took that stuff so darn. That's about it. I don't really know what else to talk about so that's all I got for you guys. Leave me a like, subscribe if you have not already and I'll catch you on the next one.